Hi everybody, thanks for joining me for another tutorial in Melinda's Rubber Room. I'm Melinda Pierce and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I'm so happy to show you today how to make a shaker card. So this is what a shaker card is. It has little product on the inside of the this uh, area here that allows it to shake. Um, it's a pretty easy card to make once you get the idea of how to put it together. So I'm here today to show you how to do that. So I'm going to put you down to my work surface. I have most of the materials already prepared. So this should be a pretty quick video. Okay, let me point you down to my work surface and we will get started. Get you in focus here, everything's set up. All right, so for this card, I used the Framed For You stamp set. I used the frame to make this uh, the top image of my card here. And then I used the Still Scenes stamp set. Uh, these are in the, this is in the current holiday catalog, which is going to expire at the end of December. So if you're interested in the stamp set and dies, I would go ahead and get that on order as soon as possible. You can see it has these fun dies that you can make all kinds of different shaker cards with. What I used was the little house um, and I just stamped that on a piece of white cardstock like so. And I went ahead and colored that in. I just used regular pens and did a, white, did a wash of uh, balmy blue on the background to create that image. Okay, so I also have a piece of balmy blue cardstock that I used as the base of my card. I have a mat for the, my card that measures um, uh, five, uh, five and a half, uh, no, five and a quarter by four. And then I have a piece of designer series paper that measures five by three and three quarters. Okay, so that is the base of my card. I'm going to go ahead and adhere, adhere all of that together. The designer series paper that I'm using is also in the mini catalog that expires in December. It has a lot of great little snowflake images, but it also has this gorgeous wash of um, blues on the other side, and that's the side that I'm going to use. All right, and then we're going to go ahead and take our stamped image and adhere that to the front of our card. You guys are gonna be so surprised at how easy this is to do. Goes right down like so. I actually sent quite a few of these cards out this year. So I am um, dispilling all of the myths as to how, how hard this card is to do by showing you how easy it is to do. So I have my stamped frame. I went ahead and cut the center out of that. I attached um, a piece of window sheet to the back side, and then I put strips of um, foam adhesive strips all around the edges. So Stampin' Up! sells these foam adhesive strips. All you do is peel them off, just like your double-sided um, dimensionals. You just peel those off, stick it on the edge of your frame. I'm going to go ahead and take off those protective coverings. I do you have to warn you that these uh, these strips are a little bit thicker than your regular dimensionals? So it will um, actually cost you a little bit more to send these cards, but uh, I think your recipients will appreciate the thought and. Uh, We'll certainly love getting your card. Okay, so I'm just going to take a little bit of, um, got these last year. Uh, this is called Ice Stamping Glitter. And I'm going to take a little bit of Snowflake Sequins. You could use any kind of tiny little beads or sequins. I've heard people actually using um, uh, kosher salt as well. You don't actually need a whole lot. You want to just make sure that it's only covering 
when this shifts to the bottom, it's only going to cover the bottom part of your, um, your window. You don't want it covering the whole thing because you want it to be able to shake and you want to be able to see your image underneath. Okay, so I have your, the sticky strips have all been, um, whoops, have all been um, exposed. So the stick, so this is the sticky part. And you want to just line that up right on top of your little square, like so. Make sure there's good contact all the way around. And that's going to hold your glitter and sequins inside. And there is the completed card. So you can see that I probably could have done put a little bit less sequins in there, but it's just a very snowy day on my card. <laughs> Okay, and then you would go ahead and stamp your greeting and put that on top. Um, I have my insert is already done. I'll go ahead and put that inside as well. So you can see that once you've done all of the prep work, it goes together pretty easily. And you can have a nice little shaker card when you're done. Don't forget that you can use this technique for any time of the year. Um, you could do um, little windows with balloons popping up. Um, with shaker material inside of it for a quick birthday card. Um, it's just a fun little card to do, and I think the recipients will all appreciate the work that you put into making it. Okay, so thanks again for joining me. If you have any questions, please leave comments. I'd be happy to answer them. I know this was a super quick video. Just wanted to get it out there so you could um, possibly incorporate it into your Christmas card making. Um, so yeah, thanks for joining me. Please leave comments. Feel free to share the video. Give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate all your interaction on my um, YouTube channel. If you have any questions, you can leave them here or um, bounce over to my business Facebook page at Melinda's Rubber Room on Facebook and um, check out all the fun things I'm doing over there as well. Okay, thanks again. Bye-bye.